guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Pixaray MUA and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get this spring inspired look. I hope you guys had a really great Easter. I'm sorry this video will be up a day late as obviously yesterday was the bank holiday Monday. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram and Vera. It's just Pixaray MUA everywhere. I will just leave my handles at the bottom of this video. Don't forget to smash that huge thumbs up if you are enjoying my videos and hit that subscribe button down below it means the world to me and you guys subscribe if you would like to see how to get this spring inspired look even though it is currently raining outside even though it was sunny when i first started filming this video yeah I, let's let's get into it okay guys so today i have quite a few different products they're not all high end um, or drugstore i've just decided to do a mix because there's a few things that i wanted to try that are new and other things that i've just not used for a while so the first thing i'm going to do is use my mini the poor pe Ugh. the mini the poor professional primer by benefit this is the pearl primer and i want to use this one because i want to keep this really nice and glowy Please excuse these um, patches on my hand. I used the other day what I thought was hand cream. I didn't read it properly and it turned out it was gradual tanner. So my hands have gone really patchy. Moving on. So today I'm going to be using the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation by Maybelline and this is in the shade light beige okay and just with my beauty blender I'm just going to blend that all over the face Okay, and for concealer today, I'm going to go in my collection Last Imperfection. This is in the shade Extra Fair. So, for some reason, my skin at the moment is having an absolute nightmare. I'm just breaking out and I just seem to have blemishes everywhere, which I'm quite lucky I don't normally get them. So, this is a new experience for me okay and set everything in place I'm going to go in with the my perfect color mineral powder by Primark in the shade porcelain so I'm just tap some into the lid. And for contour, I'm going to go in with my usual ultra sculpt and contour. Okay, and I just want to keep this look really fresh. I'm going to go in with the Olivia Hale Blusher Brick. This is one of the Home Bargains one. I'll just leave the link up in the cards for you where I did a whole video testing out Home Bargains makeup and this cost 99p. And so I'm just going to swirl my whole brush into the pan just to sort of mix all of the colours up. And if I remember rightly, this is quite pigmented and also gives a bit of a glow okay and for highlighter today I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade and before I zoom you guys in I'm just going to be showing you that I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette if you don't know what it looks like this is it Okay, so to begin, I'm just going to go in with this shade here. Now I really want to do something fun with colours um, today and make this really vibrant and spring-like. So I'm going to use this shade here as a transition colour. 
I'm just going to pop that into the crease. So I really want to do some of these two colours together. So what I might do is this one on the bottom and this one on the top. Ooh. Transition colour, yes. I know I've used this palette loads, but can, seriously, this is a matte, like a matte shadow with this sort of pigmentation. And that's literally one swatch. That is incredible. That was this shade here. I'm just going to start running that through the crease. I'm not joking, I literally tapped my brush in this colour. And I am just going to bring that onto the outer corner slightly. And then as usual, just taking my clean fluffy brush and starting to work the edges. Also, look at this. No fallout. I have used this palette before, but this shade I've not used. And I'm just really like, amazed by it. Okay, and to add just a little bit of definition to the crease, I'm just going to go in with this shade here. I'm just going to take it on a pencil brush and literally just work it really tightly into this crease. But not too much of it because I don't want to lose this orange colour. But just to give the eye a little bit more definition. So I'm just going to run it through quite messily. And then I'm going to go back in with my fluffy brush with the orange shadow on to blend it together. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this colour here. I don't know if you can see, but it's got like a gold reflect to it. There, I think you can just see it if I do that. So that is this shade here. I'm just using a flat brush, it is slightly damp. I'm just going to stop popping that here. Okay, and to blend that together, I'm going to go in with this shade here. It's like a shimmery, bronzy, kind of orangey colour. And I'm just going to start working that on. I've got sort of a flat, fluffy brush. And just start blending that into that pink just to make it nice and seamless and just to highlight the inner corner and the brow bone I'm just going to go back in with the light scapade by MAC Okay, so now for the fun part, this is where it could all go wrong. I'm going to start with the green colour here. Just on a pencil brush. I'm just going to start running it. Okay, and then going in with the turquoise shade. Again, I'm just going to use a damp brush. Just going to take my fluffy brush, just blend. The mascara I'm using today is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara by Benefit. I've been wanting to try this for ages. I actually got this in a sample from my Birch Box. So the first thing I notice is the wand is a very movable. impressed with this mascara actually. Overall pretty impressed with that. Would I get the full size? Mm. Yeah, I think I would actually. So I'm just going to do my eyebrows. So for eyebrows as usual I'm just going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in chocolate.
Okay guys, so I'm just gonna be using the Sultry Lashes from Primark. Okay guys, so this is the eyes. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to go in with the Clinique Chubby Stick Baby Tint. And this is in the shade Poppin Poppy. I've used one of these before, so I'm hoping it's going to be quite pigmented. Oh, maybe I have to rethink. So that's it there. Okay, so change of plan, I'm going to go in with the, say, uh, the Super Say 24 Hour Bold Matte by Maybelline in Fire Corail. It doesn't say coral, it says corail. But this is exactly kind of the colour that I want. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Okay guys, so I hope you liked this spring makeup tutorial. What do you guys think of this lip? I quite like it actually, I think. I think it's actually quite a nice springy kind of orangey, reddish kind of colour. So in my next video I will be doing the Captain America makeup look. I'm sorry I haven't done that one yet, it's just I've been so busy and obviously it's been Easter and though that kind of look will take me quite a long time. So I thought I'd just quickly do this lovely spring look. The start of me filming outside was lovely and sunny and now it's raining again so if my lighting has just keep go changing it's because of the lighting outside if you're from the uk you will know the struggle so it's meant to be spring who knows if it's ever going to come but yeah i just thought i'd get in the mood with a really springy kind of look so if you are enjoying my videos don't forget to smash that huge thumbs up and please subscribe down below it means the world to me to know that you guys are enjoying my content thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next one bye